question is, if Theresa May's withdrawal agreement gets signed, could the EU wield control over our armed forces? In a word, yes. This would mean for the first time in centuries, Britain is not in full control of its own military. Not since the Norman Conquest in 1066 have we surrendered to a foreign power. And without a single shot being fired. Why hasn't this been debated in Parliament, you ask? Most ministers and MPs have no idea what's happening. They have been deliberately kept in the dark about defence integration. It might sound astonishing, but the EU defence integration that Mrs May has agreed would mean the UK is structurally, politically and financially swallowed up into an EU-controlled armed force. The building blocks of the EU's military ambitions start with the Common Security and Defence Policy. Then comes the European Defence Agency, which promotes military integration between member states, which Mrs May has kept us locked into. The Military Planning and Conduct Capability is a new Command Headquarters, which is gaining the power to deploy our armed forces anywhere in the world. Permanent Structured Cooperation, or PESCO, dissolves our battlefield capabilities, like military supply and surveillance, into a single EU fighting force. Mrs May's withdrawal agreement put us into this lock, stock and barrel. Brussels even has a programme called Coordinated Annual Review on Defence, which determines how money is spent and where. There is also a European Defence Fund, which is being funded by taxpayers' money from member states. Currently, it has more funding than the entire cost of our war in Iraq. Brussels bureaucrats regularly point to EU treaties which say common security and defence policy leads to common defence. This is the ultimate prize of the EU, where all armed forces of member states are absorbed into one single EU army. Or, as the German defence minister calls it, the army of the Europeans. Germany and France are pushing this agenda hard. Wording in the Lisbon Treaty stipulated it as a desired outcome. And since 2016, Michel Barnier has maximised whatever was possible to maximise EU power. Theresa May's version of Britain leaving the EU actually integrates us further in terms of defence and keeps us in arrangements which she herself signed and actually helped create within months after the EU referendum result. You would think the Ministry of Defence had handled this, but it was actually a junior minister in the Foreign Office, one Alan Duncan. In just one single day, Alan Duncan let the EU do all these things, and all without parliamentary approval. EU now has political power to deploy and command EU battlegroups in anger. EU wields control over member states' defence spending choices. He also gave UK consent to the European Peace Facility, which, despite its cuddly name, is actually a military intervention fund. EU replaces NATO in many European military contexts. Remember when Theresa May said Brexit means Brexit? It's a rank betrayal. It locks Britain permanently into the European Defence Union without our Parliament ever having had a vote. As a result, British industrial development is damaged further. EU rules only allow us to build one-third of our warships here in the UK. What is going to happen to us? And us. We build everything from the cutty sack to the QE2. Our shipyards are on their knees as EU defence policy sends UK government contracts abroad. Canada builds all their own ships, currently worth $40 billion. Their industry is thriving. How will our British armed forces feel about being under increasing EU control? One sends good wishes to you all. What the? Today, EU is dominated by Germany, 
but who knows what the makeup of the EU or international relations will be like in a generation's time. You can't be serious! I don't want this. If the withdrawal agreement is signed, in the long run, we can expect the complete submission of UK command and sovereignty over defence. Right, now it's time to stand up for ourselves. Write to your MP to tell them to reject Theresa May's harmful withdrawal agreement, which would make us subservient to the EU. A clean Brexit is our passport to freedom.